like to welcome all the people who are still joining. Welcome everyone. I see someone from Turkey. Hello and welcome to this event. Um, hello, uh, hello from Mexico. Hi and welcome. Um, so we are based in Italy at the moment. Uh, it is a pleasure to be here with you tonight. And I'm glad to welcome you all to this event in partnership with Yulm. As I was mentioning, for uh, those of you who connected, uh, we, we are going to talk about the rise of sustainability in strategic communication. And uh, on behalf of Yulm, we have uh, Grazia Mortarelli. She's a professor um, in the master program in strategic communication. And Costanza Fazzi, she's the sustainability and foundation expert at Vodafone. So uh, I want to thank all of you for joining us tonight. And and I want to remind you that um, following the presentation, we will have a Q&A session. And of course, you will be able, able to ask all your questions live. So anything concerning this program, this master in strategic communication or, uh, you know, the latest trends in, um, in this field, uh, you can ask anything about the student life at you, anything about the scholarships, we are here to, um, to help you and to hopefully clear all your doubts. So I want to once again welcome you all and I want to thank Grazia and Costanza for being here with us tonight. Um, I will now leave the floor to Grazia. And if you have any questions, just please pop them in the Q&A box and we'll answer them at the end of the presentation. As a last thing, I will take the um, time to mention that you can uh, ask for a certificate of attendance and I will get back to you with more information about that in the chat later on this event. Thank you so much once again, and I will now leave the floor to Grazia. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lavinia, and uh, welcome to everybody. So I'm Grazia Mortarelli, and as Lavinia said, I'm a professor at this master degree in strategic communication. Um, it's my pleasure to, to be with you today in order to discuss about uh, our program, but I know that you are also interested in um, better understanding the, uh, the trending topic about sustainability, so it will be my pleasure to share the floor with Costanza Fasi. Uh, she's a practitioner, but is, she also teaches at Yulm University. So uh, um, after the, uh, these uh, few, uh, so other, after a few minutes and uh, uh, to discuss about uh, the topics, we will also uh, provide you with more detailed information about our master courses, our teaching methods, and our dual degree experience. So uh, let us know in the Q&A section if, of course, you need uh, more and detailed information. But uh, in order to introduce to you our topic, a few words about uh, the content of our course courses of our program. Uh, our master degree is in strategic communication. So what is a strategic communication and why strategic communication is becoming so crucial? So we can say that nowadays a strategic communication is a crucial activity, is crucial for the success of any organization. So if you will become uh, strategic communication professionals, as I hope, uh, you will play a very important role for your organization because you will contribute to the success of uh, different initiatives. So you uh, will contribute also to the success of your organization. So our aim as uh, educators and as professor is uh, to provide you with uh, the opportunity to play this a distinctive role. So talking about your future, uh, our master degree will lead you to um, the possibility to uh, play different opportunities and play different roles in your organization. So at the end of the course, uh, you will be have the possibility uh, to play as a strategic communication expert or to become digital communication management. So our course is a program to educate you in a becoming a public affair manager or a digital advocacy, digital storytelling. So as you can see, uh, we uh, provide you with a detailed information about how strategic communication will work. So uh, you will have the opportunity to work in different fields, in different industries and with different specialities. For what concerns our program, uh, this, is a, uh, this is a two years uh, uh, master degree. Uh, so 
each year is uh, divided in two main semester. So during the first year, as you can notice from the slide, you will have the opportunity to, uh, to know better fundamentals of a strategic communication. So you will be involved in courses uh, addressed to illustrate a strategy and management, uh, how digital communication management or artificial intelligence is working nowadays, uh, or how to communicate visually by using the right image, by using the most effective image. Uh, you will also be prepared in analyzing data uh, or in managing a crisis and the risky situation. Uh, you, will be, you will be also prepared for uh, more knowing the CSR communication, as Costanza Fazi will explain better than me. And then you will have the opportunity to also know organizational behavior and neuromanagement. In the second year, uh, you will have the possibility to select uh, between the two main curricula, uh, as our course, you will provide you uh, the opportunity to select all the curriculum in corporate and marketing communication. So you will have to the possibility to explore better marketing and the management issues and topics uh, like, for instance, brand communication, internal communication, change management or corporate public affairs. Or you will have the opportunity to select the curriculum addressed to sustainability communication. So you will be prepared for managing CSR issues and topics, like for instance, how to create and develop an integrated reporting, or what it means to manage HR and employees in a sustainable way. Or again, what about the global environment issues and the human values? So at the end, in the second part of the second year, uh, you will be required also to make an internship or field project, but we will discuss about it. And of course, you have a dissertation. So the thesis discussion is a, an important component of your path. But in any way, I will be back on discussing with you more about our structures, our courses, the digital teach, the, teach, the teaching methods, or again, the double degree information. But now I would like to leave uh, the floor to Costanza Fazi. So please, Costanza, uh, thank you so much for your uh, speech. Um, thank you so much, Grazia, for, um, for the nice introduction. Um, so as Grazia was saying, I am not a full-time professor. Um, I am currently working at Vodafone, which is a multinational tele telecommunication company. Um, where I split my time basically between the sustainability space and the foundation space. Um, so for some reason I should be, able oh yeah, there you go. So when we started basically thinking about how we could um, build this um, type of course, which is basically principles, um, sorry, if we go back to the previous slide, for some reason I'm not able to go back. Grazie, are you controlling the screen by any chance? Right, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. I don't know, maybe it's you controlling the screen. Um, sorry about that. But um, basically, as I was saying, when we started um, thinking about the course and how we could really um, understand the we really wanted to understand the context in which um, the course was um, coming to life and the the starting point is the fact that uh, BlackRock which is the, which is the um, world's largest asset owner is pushing uh, more and more companies um, to disclose their plans on how their business model is compatible, is compatible with a net zero economy or net zero emission economy. The CEO of BlackRock has been really clear. Unless company have a clear plan um, to address the transition to, to uh, a net zero uh, emission economy, they will not, no longer be investing in those type of companies. Also, um, the fact is that investors are planning to uh, double uh, their sustainable assets under management within the next five years. So maybe if we go to the next slide. Right, I'm not able to go. Oh, thank you so much. Sorry, grazie about that. Thank you so much. 
Um, so um, really sustainability is not just about tackling environmental risk, but it's about uh, understanding and creating an, um, a resilient infrastructure um, that is 360 degrees. It's about sustainable uh, environmental practices. It's about um, social practices um, that lead to greater credibility. It's about governance uh, practices. And we've, if we go to the next slide, Thank you so much. Um, this is where, um, so in this kind of context, is the, this is where being competent at communicating sustainability uh, is becoming more and more a fundamental asset for a company. Just because companies have to build a um, relevant uh, and credible sustainability strategy, but having someone that is competent at communicating that type of strategy is fundamental. Just because products um, are more and more chosen on brand awareness and reputation, um, uh, higher sales, um, uh, good reputation leads definitely to higher sales and recommendations are increased um, if a company has a better reputation compared to another one. Um, so, if we move on to the next uh, slide, please. Thank you so much. So the principle of CSR and communication course um, has two different objectives. Sorry, the previous slide. Sorry, I don't know who is. <laughs> um, so maybe I should stop. Yeah, this one. Thank you so much. Um, so we have two goals um, with this uh, principle of CSR and communication course, which is number one, uh, that a student is um, able to confidently discuss what its sustainability, what are its pillars, and what it means uh, for both private and public actors um, to work in the sustainable space. So we talk a lot, lot about SDGs, um, we talk a lot about net zero plans, et cetera, et cetera. But also be able to structure a sustainability related project from its conception to communication. So it's really a practical hands-on course where what you learn in um, our lessons uh, is really put into place in the final um, group project. So if we move on to the next slide, please. Thank you. So this is a little bit um, what we did last year. So we started understanding what is sustainability and sustainable development. Um, we, we had um, three speakers uh, in my last course. So really practitioners who are able to bring on um, their um, experience and to share it with you so that you can understand what it really means to do sustainability and to communicate sustainability from a business perspective. So we talked about a lot about climate change and decarbonization, just because as sustainable communication practitioner, I think really one should be able to understand at least the basic climate change and decarbonization concept so that they are able to um, disseminate them in a clearer way. And Luca Cassani uh, from Microsoft brought his own experience. I mean, Microsoft has been doing amazing things uh, within this space. So it was really an interesting um, um, speaker um, in the course. Then we talked a lot about um, the international standards, how to report uh, sustainability. And we also had someone who's a board member um, in uh, one of the uh, Italian banks. And she talked about how at a board level, um, really sustainability committees are um, taken into account. Um, we had a lesson dedicated to marketing and communication for sustainability. And if we go on to the next slide, we um, then closed with um, two lessons, one about the ecosystem where um, sustainability can thrive, um, the role of uh, governments, businesses, and private citizens. And we had uh, the pleasure to have with us uh, the co-founder of Abatable. I invite you all to check out this company. Um, she has created this company to support companies uh, in the uh, net zero transition and to understand who are the most um, credible offset type of offset. 
Um, so um, we then concluded the cycle of lessons with a focus, specific focus on circular economy and circular design. Um, and then we basically, I asked the, the students to put all of this uh, into a group project. Um, so in groups of um, from five to eight, they had to present um, a sustainability related project uh, to assess strength, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. So do a basic SWOT analysis, um, come up with a business case and plan marketing and communication for their sustainability project, um, as well as map uh, internal and external stakeholders. So this is basically the skeleton of last year course. Um, it would be um, quite similar this year, of course, maybe different speakers. Uh, but really, uh, my goal is to give you a 360 degree uh, perspective on what it means to approach um, sustainability and to give you the basis to go to year two uh, confidently and to deep dive into some of the topics that we uh, start uh, discussing in year one. Yeah, so maybe we can skip this um, this slide. Um, so I will leave it to Grazia maybe to continue. Um... Yeah, so I can exploit this, uh, uh, this opportunity because uh, uh, you mentioned that in your course uh, you addressed uh, uh, times in uh, guiding the students uh, for doing the group project. So this is an important aspect because uh, for relating the complex topics like, for instance, sustainability, that could be far from a student experience. Uh, for a student, it's very important that you put into practice theoretical insight. That is what usually we do in our course, in our program. So um, next slide, I will address more attention to the teaching methods that, uh, for instance, Constanza so, uh, mentioned that in, uh, especially for what concerns the, uh, the possibility to work on real briefs and a real project from the company. Uh, so uh, what we have did for this course uh, was uh, to align the teaching methods to international standards. So that means that you will have uh, the uh, opportunity not to study theoretical insight and stop, but you will have uh, the opportunity to apply and to implement this theoretical insight into practice. So you will be involved in continuous simulations you will be object of continuous assignments. That means that we will require you to work into practice and that you work in couples or in groups in order to uh, provide a solution, uh, provide suggestions to real life problems. Uh, you will be involved in uh, uh, sharing your opinion and discussing about uh, uh, case studies. So, and um, as uh, Professor Fazi mentioned, you will have uh, the opportunity to uh, listen uh, practitioners speaking about the real experience. That means that uh, you will face a reality, professional reality. So, um, and finally, uh, I think that could be important to mention also the possibility to do fit project on internship. Uh, so, as I mentioned before, uh, in the second semester of the second year, uh, you, you will be required to do an internship, so uh, to apply for an internship in a company, or you will have the opportunity to work with our uh, research center about a field project. So, uh, you will do some research, some practical research, about a real brief provided by a company. So you will have these two possibilities. So in order to go more in details about uh, our faculty, our course structures, and then we will, we, we will address the last 10 minutes in answering your questions, uh, you will have that our faculty is composite of academics, so uh, like, for instance, me, like Professor Valentina, like Professor Senaro, so uh, you will have a, a balanced mix between academic people and practitioners, because we believe that this combination could provide you uh, with the right uh, formula for uh, accessing the professional environment. And then also uh, you will have uh, the opportunity to um, encounter so many companies. So um, Professor Fazi mentioned the, some of the speakers. This is a, in this slide you can find some companies that I guess 
during my course during the last year. So uh, in the digital communication uh, subject, we had the opportunity to talk with a uh, professional from a B2C company, uh, from a B2B company, uh, or uh, like from uh, giants like Google or from agency like B Cube. So this means to have uh, the chance to talk with the different realities during our courses. About the internships, uh, here you are some loggers. So uh, from companies that uh, have uh, uh, developed a partnership with our master degree. So as you can see, uh, the industries are very different. Uh, so from public administration, again, to B2B, media company, fashion company, uh, research company, so banking and assurance industry. So you will have uh, the opportunity to access to different industry uh, during, uh, during this course. So uh, last information, the last section I would like to address it to uh, some practical information for what concerns the, uh, some, uh, this is our, our call it hot topics for you as a student, so because uh, uh, as you probably read, our uh, master degree provides you with the opportunity to take a double degree. Uh, so we have a partnership with the three universities, Adelsfield University, Cardiff Metropolitan University, and the University of Western Australia. Um, you, uh, so if you will, have, uh, will be accepted, so uh, you will take uh, and you will need to send uh, and to apply uh, for uh, taking the double degree abroad uh, and uh, you will uh, attend courses directly at the other speed university, Cardiff Metropolitan University or University of Western Australia in the second semester of the second year. So, uh, and in order to go more in details, uh, in, at the University of Huddersfield, uh, you will obtain a, a postgraduate certificate in marketing communication. And as you can notice from the slide, you have another dissertation. And that this uh, program can integrate and can provide you more insight about the strategic marketing management field and about contemporary consumer engagement field. For what concerns Cardiff Metropolitan University, uh, by uh, accessing the double degree at this university, uh, you could obtain a postgraduate certificate in international business management. That means uh, to integrate our program with a subject related to creativity, to globalization, to what it means uh, uh, conducting the business in a global economy, uh, and you need to uh, implement, in this case, uh, an international research project. Uh, so, and again, at the University of Western Australia, the graduate certificate is in strategic communication. Uh, so here the, uh, we can say that the uh, address, so uh, this university uh, is addressing more topics like uh, uh, digital communication, digital media, media governance, uh, that could be subject that you can attend uh, during the period uh, in this international uh, university. So, uh, of course, this is a double degree. So, so uh, you will be uh, you will be probably required to uh, pay a fee at a university uh, where you uh, will be accepted to uh, attend, to obtain, and to get a double degree. Uh, but for more details, uh, I will invite you to write to our administrative office and I will provide you with more detailed information at the end of this presentation. Um, another opportunity for uh, uh, leaving the international experience uh, of our course is uh, to attend the Erasmus program. So our university uh, is well known for the different partnership that it has developed abroad with a different university. Uh, in the next slide, you will find some opportunities of Erasmus with the university, but this is Erasmus program are tailor made for our communication course. So for our strategic communication course, because we found the very similarities in the program because uh, we found that this university can provide you with uh, courses that can enrich 
your experience. So um, again, you will have a possibility for attending the Erasmus Exchange program at Louvain University in France. Lund University in Sweden is another possibility destination or, or Oslo University. Each university, as you can see, has a very different uh, addressing and very different, um, we can say, um, address for what concerns the strategic communication course. Other tailor-made Erasmus exchange are in the Leeds University, so UK, University of Sydney, Sydney in Australia, or University of Lisbon in Portugal, uh, where you can find uh, different courses and different subjects for what concerns, for instance, a business school and employee engagement, or managing culture and change, or again, marketing future costs, a digital marketing strategy, uh, as you can see. Um, and again, uh, we have uh, some university in partnership with uh, Germany, so in uh, Leipzig University, uh, Frankfurt Business School, uh, or Hungary Metropolitan Budapest University. So, and again, uh, here the um, we can see different, uh, so some differences with the, with our courses. Uh, because we think that the Erasmus Exchange program should provide you with uh, the opportunity to enlarge your view, your perspective, and really uh, to enrich your university experience. Uh, of course, so what we say that during this, uh, uh, this presentation is that uh, you will uh, um, so you will apply, and I hope that you could apply uh, this year for attending our master degree. The Erasmus Exchange program, like the double degree program, they will be implemented and you will apply for the second year. So probably in the next two years, some changes could uh, could occur uh, due to the external condition or due to the, the possible, possible development of a new partnership. Uh, so what do we usually suggest is to pay always attention to the different news and to the different uh, information that we usually provide you uh, when we describe our courses. So um, other information are about campus. So I, uh, uh, I am, uh, so I was graduated in Yum when I was a student. Uh, and I saw how uh, much this university has developed uh, during especially the last year. Uh, we arrived at six, seven buildings. Uh, we have a few student housings and you can apply for a student international housing solution. Uh, in, the, in the campus, you will have the possibility, of course, to um, exploit the bar and the restaurant. We have a two auditorium, and we usually, uh, UM is a very well-known university in Milan for the different program open to the city that the university decided to organize. Uh, we have two bookshops where you can find all the materials. We have a library and then we have nine research centers. That means that the research as, a, as well as the teaching part is an essential part of university. I am also the delegate for the sporting activities, so I would like to exploit uh, this uh, webinar for uh, informing you that the sport also at the university is uh, well developed, so you will have the opportunity to join our teams and to exploit a different occasion for knowing other people, for learning our culture, and for, of course, uh, promoting a well-being state uh, that is uh, crucial also, not only uh, so for, for your academic life. But so for what concerns the, uh, oops, so the requirements that I think that could be very interesting for you, uh, we have some entry requirements that are your degree. Uh, so uh, we have no limitation for what concerns uh, the, um, the, uh, the, the academic degree. Of course, there are some requisites that you need to respect. Uh, a second entry requirement is about your proficiency in the English language, level B2. Uh, uh, so the official, we need an official certification like IELTS or others. Um, so how to apply? This is an online application. So you needed to send your documents that will be evaluated by our administrative office. 
and uh, you need to, um, to access it on admission test. And this admission test will consist of a case study discussion <clears throat> about a strategic communication. So you will be required to answer to uh, essay questions about a real case study that uh, it will provide to you. And then you have uh, some questions about yourself as a prospective student of such a program. So we would like also to investigate your motivation and why you decided to apply for our university. To answer these questions, you will be required to submit the case study discussion on the platform and to record a short video for what concerns, especially a question about yourself. Uh, so, and to upload uh, this, uh, uh, this video uh, in a folder shared with you by our administrative office. So, I think that uh, we can leave space for the questions, Lavinia. Uh, in this slide, you can find all of the contact details that I think could be very helpful uh, if you have uh, especially specific questions for what concerns the administrative procedures. For any kind of other questions, please feel free to pause it to us. We are very happy to answer you. Thank you so much, Grazia, and thank you so much, Costanza, for this very interesting presentation. Uh, I want to thank all participants who joined this event for their questions so far. And of course, if you have any other, uh, you know, doubts or curious curiosities about this program, sorry, um, you can ask away and we will be happy to uh, just answer them all. Um, I will start by reading the first questions that we got. So a participant is asking specifically if you can maybe uh, tell us more about some field projects that students have done within this uh, master degree. Yeah, for sure. So a uh, field project is usually provided by a single company per year. So uh, you need to know that we we have a very uh, a numerous and several partnership with uh, companies and we are in strict contact uh, every year. Usually uh, every year we talk with a company that provide a brief and uh, uh, we select some students working on this brief. Uh, the brief could be related to collect the data, uh, so to do empirical work about especially uh, collection data by uh, implementing a research method like survey, like focus group, or you can be required to work by using uh, modern research methods like desk analysis, uh, conversational analysis, it depends on the brief. Um, but you will contribute to the research project and you can use the data for developing your master thesis. So uh, in this way, you can exploit this opportunity not only for working with the company directly, but also for having data and materials for your master thesis. Thank you so much, Grazia. So I know that you mentioned that for all administrative questions, participants should refer to the email uh, addresses that we have on screen. So a participant has asked if we can explain perhaps something about the admission test and how does that work? Should they reach out to the um, admission at Hume or info point at Hume about this? So for what concerns the, uh, if you wanted to apply, it, if you wanted to take the test, you can write it to admission at yulm.it. Uh, you can send all the documents because you need, of course, to provide some basic documents in order to verify uh, that you can respect the requ requisites that uh, we, of course, ask for. Then you will receive the exit procedures by our administrative office. So you receive uh, the case study, and the link to a shared folder when you can upload uh, your case study discussion and you can download the materials and then you can upload also the video. So the first step to take is to write to admission at yulma.it in order to provide your documents uh, and ask to the opportunity for the opportunity to um, upload your case study discussion and your video for being examined by us. Thank you so much, Grazia. So we have another question in the chat. I will just read that first so we don't lose it. Um, participant is asking, uh, they have a master's degree in health and physical education. They are looking for a master's uh, of philosophy or PhD at Yule that is related to a sports management degree. Uh, I think they would need to refer to InfoPoint maybe at yeah. Yule. 
I think that it could be better. So because they can provide you information about a PhD, if you're interested in a PhD, we have some PhD program. And we have Master of Science uh, in uh, Sport Communication. That could be uh, probably uh, your selection, but you need to ask for. Thank you so much, Grazia. So I will go back to our Q&A box. A uh, participant is asking specifically to Costanza, um, how does a sustainable strategic communication plan um, go about being assessed? So how would you structure a sustainable strategic communication plan? So thank you, Lavinia. So first off, we um, usually have a session dedicated to exchanging with the students about what their um, group project is going to be on. So they can come to me, explain their ideas, and just together we make sure that the idea is coherent with the goal of the course. Then I have a set of 17 criteria that range from, you know, how you uh, how confident you were in the presentation to um, how to the point was the presentation itself, whether um, KPIs to evaluate your marketing and communication strategies were added uh, into the presentation, whether you respected the timings. And out of the 17 criteria that I share, of course, many times during my lessons, um, I give a rating from one to four. Um, that uh, basically is the way, but it's really a comprehensive uh, evaluation of the presentation. Um, yeah, I, we, what I try and do is really to uh, make sure that before going, getting to the presentation, there is a real exchange between myself and the group um, and that I give you all the support you need uh, in order to make sure that you succeed with the group project. And th this is my uh, ultimate goal uh, as well. Thank you so much, Costanza. I'm sure that um, all the information you provided cleared the participants' doubts. Um, I will move forward and uh, participant is asking if they can choose internships or if they are assigned on merit. Okay, so I can ask because we have an, um, an office addressed to uh, help you in uh, uh, selecting the right internship. So we have, again, some agreement with the different companies. So we have a, a stage and internship office that is a very, very well qualified. They can help you in uh, uh, better refining your curriculum, uh, in improving your LinkedIn profile, for instance. They uh, ask you with more details about what you are selling searching for and they provide you with suggestions and then they can help you in finding the right internship but you can also find some internship by yourself if you have some contact with some companies but in order to be recognized you need to put in contact with the company with our uh, office internship office so they can uh, they can formalize you know the, the agreement so you can uh, recognize your internship for what concerns the master degree. Thank you so much, Grazia. So in the meantime, we have gotten another question in the chat. So a participant is asking if they have a three years degree, so a bachelor's in public relations, media management, linguistics and Chinese, can they apply to this master degree? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So uh, you need to verify with admission at yulma.it, but uh, if you have a, a bachelor degree in public relation, we include absolutely uh, public relation as one of the uh, topic of our courses. So I can say yes. Thank you so much, Grazia. Uh, so another participant is asking if uh, perhaps you can tell us more about the career outcomes after this master. So uh, what can students expect to find in terms of job roles? And uh, they are also asking if foreign students can expect to work in Italy afterwards. Okay, so I can go, oh, sorry. I can go back to the, sorry for the uh, quick, Okay, to the career opportunities, so this can provide me some more information about it. So for what concerns your career opportunities after this course, um, um, so this course provides you with uh, uh, 
uh, a generic overview of the fundamentals of communication. So you will be able in, in working in every communication office, uh, in a public or private organization, or in any communication uh, group in agency. So you will be able to, and when we talk about working communication, uh, we are related to execute, manage, measure the effectiveness of communication initiatives and tools. So this is the basic. Then our course program provides you with a more detailed subject that can allow you to work in a specific department or in a specific industries. So when we talk about, for instance, a crisis communication manager, it means that you can work in the crisis communication team of each communication because you will be prepared for managing crisis. When, he, um, when, he, uh, when we talk about the digital communication management, so I am professor of digital communication, so uh, my aim is to provide you with a basic and advanced insight uh, that can allow you to organize an editorial plan, to manage a different social media account, to organizing an advertising campaign, to work with artificial intelligence. So uh, or when you, you will work with uh, Professor Fazi and you will acquire more specialties in the CSR, uh, but we have also specific courses with specific industry, like for instance, the fashion one that is very attractive for most of you, and the financial, for instance, ones, or public affairs sectors that is quite interesting for communication professionals. So really, these are courses that provide you with a lot of opportunities and the possibilities uh, because you can uh, use uh, insights and the knowledge contacts so that you are able to develop during this master degree for your future work. So uh, about the career opportunities, uh, I think that is, um, it, is, it, is, it is one, um, so it's not because it's the course of where I teach, but I think that is a, one of the most valid course in this sense. And again, like for the internship, also for the career opportunities, our offices are very well organized in order to support you. So so uh, usually the first step for accessing to the professional world is the internship because you can access and be known by an organization by doing an internship in that organization uh, and this, this can help you. But uh, we really, you are supported as a young student for preparing for an interview, for instance, or for uh, organizing your curriculum in order to, uh, to be more successful uh, for the future work. So I can say that, I can say that. So I hope to have answered to the questions. Thank you so much, Grazia. That was very informational and I'm sure that it clarified the point. In the meantime, we have gotten another question about the PhD offer. So I would invite all participants who have questions about the PhD offer in general to reach out to infopoint at yulm.it or admission at yulm.it for any further inquiries. I will move forward with the Q&A box. Um, a participant is uh, stating that they already registered for the master's and they intend to pay the fee. The question they are asking is, uh, after they conduct the tests, uh, will it be guaranteed um, that they are accept accepted at you? So um, they can have this, this so, stuff going on. Uh I think that they will receive um, an answer and a feedback because so we are receiving nowadays and many applications and we are correcting the test and then we are watching your video responses. Then we provide you with a feedback that is not automatic. That it's not automatic in the sense that we check, of course, uh, if you so how you answered to the question. So there is a, as a test you need to pass. Uh, but for sure, you receive a feedback that could be positive or negative, but you receive a feedback for sure. Thank you so much, Grazia. Uh, questions are actually flooding in through the Q&A box, so I'm uh, really happy about that. Um, so to go to the next one, uh, Anna is asking if you can perhaps tell us a bit more about the scholarships, where and how to apply for them, or where to find some more information about 
Okay, so for the scholarship, my suggestion is to write about the info point at yulma.it because so we have some scholarship that are based on financial requirements, some scholarship that are based on your merit, so your performance during the courses. Um, if you are sporting students at professional level, you can exploit also the opportunity to uh, find some scholarship linked to the sport activity. Uh, but for more details, because I am not sure to provide you the right information about the, especially the process or the deadline, because I'm not sure to know exactly what they are. Uh, so my suggestion is to write to infopoint at yulma.it. Thank you so much, Grazia. So to move to the next question, um, also Anna is asking us if there's any possibility to apply for a master's degree in management if their bachelor's degree is in translation. I think this also qualifies as a question mm -hmm. they can uh, answer uh, by contacting infopoint at yulm.it or admission at yulm.it. So we will leave it at that. To go to the next one, um, a participant is asking uh, if they uh, if, if we can give a short brief about the exchange program um, at you. So uh, perhaps you can tell us more. Grazie. So um, for what's concerned, exchange program, I think that they are related to the Erasmus exchange yes. programs. Okay. So uh, at Yulm, the Erasmus exchange program has, uh, has been developed over the years by multiplying the possibility for you for uh, uh, going abroad at a different university. So as a future student of the strategic communication course, what I showed you are two exchange opportunities that are uh, um, suggested for our master degree because the program of that university are very strict or linked to our master program. But uh, if you search for other destination, uh, you can exploit also in this case our exchange office because uh, they are very well organized that can they can provide you with the more information during the selection process. So um, what I can share with you is that, uh, of course, the exchange is um, uh, usually uh, we suggest you to exploit the second year, the second semester for making the exchange because uh, uh, you have you are not required to attend our subject or our course, but it's a very, very, very suggested because we do a lot of practical exercise. You, you, you meet a lot of professors, so it could be better if you can be a tender student. So for this reason, the second part of the second semester could be exploited for doing the uh, exchange uh, program. Thank you so much, Grazia. So the next question uh, is about people who have a different background than communication. So a participant is asking if they have a bachelor degree, for example, in engineering, can they still apply? Uh, are they expected to succeed through the application process? So also in this case, because of where I'm working as engineer, I'm not sure because it depends on the, also the plan of study. Uh, so we needed to check uh, with the admission at yulma.it. So you can send your plan of study uh, or what you have studied. So in order to see if you need probably to, so if you, if you need some more information or if you can apply for the admission. Thank you so much, Grazia. So to go to our next question, um, a participant is asking how to contact you about the relevant degree for their background. Of course, also in this case, you can reach out to infopoint at yulm.it or admission at yulm.it. Um, a participant is asking if uh, IELTS score is needed to apply if they are, I assume, coming from Italy. Uh, I don't think so, but also for this, it could be better to uh, write to admission at yulma.it because I'm not sure about, uh, I, I don't think so, but it's better to write. Thank you so much, Grazia. So for the moment, we are done with the questions, but we still have 10 minutes left. 
more or less. So I encourage all participants that still have some questions or doubts about this master to just write away in the Q&A box and we will do our best to answer to uh, all your questions and doubts. In the meantime, I would like to thank all of you for connecting and for joining us for this event. And also, I would like to thank Grazia and Costanza for their insightful presentation. Um, a participant is, is asking about the uh, fees of this program. So where can they uh, find some more information about that? So uh, you can find information on the website of our university. So uh, www.rulm.it. But the, I think that it's a, a quicker process if you write to infopoint at info.it. They can answer you immediately. Thank you so much, Grazia. We have got some, another question uh, in the chat. Uh, participant is asking how many intakes do you have yearly and when? So perhaps, Grazia, you can tell us more about upcoming deadlines that uh, participants should watch out for. Thank you so much. So, uh, yeah, um, so for what concerns to the international process, so we follow another part compared to the national one. So nowadays, so in this period, we are receiving many application. Uh, you need to take into consideration that we have 100, um, so 100 intakes, so seats that you can uh, so open to students, and we uh, will go on with the application process until we complete the class. Uh, so if you are very interested, it's better to uh, reach admission at yuma.it as soon as possible, because we have, for instance, started with admission at the national level, and we started to admit international student. So usually by the end of, the, of, of May, we have completed the class. So this is what our history said. So if you're if you're interested, it's better to write uh, as soon as possible. Thank you so much, Grazia. So, of course, while we are waiting for some more questions, I would like to ask Grazia if perhaps you can tell us more about the exam session. So, how does a typical exam within this master uh, go about? Is it written? Is it an okay. oral examination? Okay, so about the exam, it depends on the subject because each professor has the freedom to select what is the best exam formula. Uh, you will have some exams that um, require a written text uh, and integrative oral session or some exam that will be based on oral session. Uh, so, but a professor will inform you since the beginning of the course what will be the right formula. So you will be informed uh, in time. Uh, sometimes uh, when you participate to some project groups, like for instance, Professor Fassi can confirm, uh, some of the evaluation can depend also on the project that you have, uh, that you have did. So uh, for instance, the project group could uh, have a weight on the final evaluation. But also in this case, Professor, we will explain you everything. We have usually new three exam sections, three, three per year. So one in January, February, one in May, uh, June, and one in September. So maybe Thank I can- Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, uh, Lavinia, maybe I can just add on to what Grazia was saying, just to give you a really concrete example mm -hmm. of an exam. So for example, for my course, the evaluation is split between the group presentation, which waits for 35% of the total course, and then a multiple choice exam, um, which waits 70, 65% of the total um, note uh, grade that you will get from my exam. Um, so multiple choice is really on the subjects that we've covered during uh, our classes. Um, very hands-on to make sure that you understood what we went through um, during um, the course. So for example, this is my exam, but others could be different, but just to give you a concrete example on how an exam could go. Thank you so much, Costanza, for uh, contributing to this answer. Um, of course, we still have uh, some minutes left. So if any of you still have uh, any questions about the student life at Hume, uh, the specifics of this master program, we are here to, you know, just answer your questions and help you clear your doubts uh, about anything at all. So don't hesitate to write them in the Q&A box. Um, so a participant is asking if they're studying arts, uh, if they can apply to this to this master. 
Uh, sorry, Lavinia, can you uh, repeat the questions because I'm not sure. Absolutely. A participant is asking if they have an arts background, if they can apply to this master. Uh, I think yes, but also in this case, it could be better uh, to write to admission at Hume. Um, uh, at hume.it because it could be better because also again if the title could be okay it is necessary to check the study plan thank you so much grazie so for the moment i don't see any more questions aside from kindly send us the powerpoints i would like to point out that you will get a recording all of you uh, will get a recording of this event so you will be able to review all the information that has been communicated within this webinar so of course, um, just keep an eye an eye out for your email um, inbox, and you will get it. Uh, in the meantime, a participant is asking if students can work during their studies at Yule. So perhaps we can touch a bit on that. And if you are recommending for students to work and study at the same time, grazie. So uh, I can provide my point of view, but maybe uh, Professor Fazi can add something because uh, from my perspective, uh, you can do it. So you will be also facilitating doing that because as a professor, of course, uh, we usually meet your, um, your needs or your expectations. Uh, it could be better to attend, as I say, the course because uh, you can exploit all the opportunities uh, from this course. But of course, you are forced to work. Uh, you uh, you can do because we have a, for attending and not attending students. We provide a clear information about how they can pass the exams. Yes, if I may add something on to what you were saying, really we make sure um, to cater for for your needs. So we really want to support um, students that work and study at the same time. So. Uh, we record our sessions to make sure that you can catch up with them um, after class. But really, yes, it's a much different experience if you can join the class and you know participate, ask questions, jo join in, uh, meet your peers, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, I have a similar take on this um, to you, Grazia. Thank you so much, Costanza. So as I don't see any more questions, I would like to ask you a couple of questions that I think might be of interest for our participants. Um, I was wondering, Costanza and Grazia, if you can perhaps tell us more about any extracurricular activities that students can uh, participate in at UN. So are there any clubs, any activities in particular that prospective applicants can hope to join in? Uh, okay, so I can. Uh, so as I mentioned before, there is a, a well-developed uh, sporting club that you can join. So we have a, a football team, male and female. Uh, we have a volleyball team, male and female. We have a basketball team, male and female, and we have an esports uh, section, well-developed. Uh, we have also a, a team radio, so we have a group of students that can uh, that are that are managing the radio of university, and you can join them in order to, of course, provide your experience. Or if you want to participate to the activities, um, and then for each course, so our uh, representatives are very active. So uh, student representative are very 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 present for you. So you will be guided. We have an Erasmus. Uh, association that is uh, uh, very organized and it can provide you with the opportunity, for instance, to see Milan and to enjoy, you know, so uh, the more pleasure part of the city and of the academic life. So a lot of associations of students association that come and provide you help. So in this sense, the Euro University is very alive. Thank you so much, Grazia. About that, a participant is asking if uh, Jung supports para players as they are a para player of badminton. So uh, we have no para player teams, but uh, uh, if you are para players, so we can support you with uh, some specific programs or in any case, uh, um, if you, for instance, doing it professional level, uh, our uh, so uh, we have an office address to support you, especially for what concerns the possibility to combine uh, the study program with the sporting activity. So, in this sense, we will be very happy to help you. 
That sounds amazing. Thank you so much, Grazia, for uh, this information. I hope that was helpful to our participants. And our time is running out, but I do want to take one more um, um, just a minute to you know thank again uh, all of uh, the participants that joined us for this session and to thank so much Grazia and Costanza for all the information and all the time that they've taken to uh, reply to all of the questions. So for any questions that you might still have, just feel free to reach out to infopoint at yulm.it or admission at yulm.it and they will get back to you. Uh, I also want to remind you that you will get a recording of this webinar. So all the information that has been broadcasted here, you can just review it later on. So um, once again, thank you so much for for, uh, joining us for this webinar on the Master in Strategic Communication. And thank you, Costanza and Grazia, for your time. It was wonderful to be uh, able to moderate this web webinar in partnership with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Lavinia. For thank you so much. This. I wish everyone a nice evening or day according to where they are connecting from. And I hope to see you again soon for the next event in partnership with you University. Thank you so much and stay safe.